Sally, welcome to my channel. So lately I've been inspired by all the other doll artists on YouTube and their Pokemon creations. And I knew right away that I wanted to do a Houndoom inspired doll. So this is my second doll repaint ever. So I'm by no means an expert. So take my advice with a grain of salt. I make some mistakes along the way, but it's all part of it, and I think she turned out awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So to start out, I take some 100% acetone and remove her factory paint. Next, I take some very long scissors and <laughs> cut off her hair and prepare some boiling water off camera. <laughs> I then take the doll and put her in the boiling water and I leave her in there for about three minutes and then I take her out and I use this nail manicure tool I found in my closet and start scraping out the hair from the inside. And when she's all clean, I take some more acetone and clean off the paint on the top of her head. And while I'm in the prep phase, I wanted to give her body a good sanding with these nail buffers. Just to make sure that the Mr. Super Clear adheres properly. And that's it for the cleanup. Let's move on to the face. So I start the face by shaving off some pastels with a box cutter. You can also use sandpaper. I switched to that and it does work a little bit better. And at this point, I'm just trying to build up color around her muzzle and build up the eyebrows.
I found that I needed to make about three or four layers to build up the color around the mouth and eyes to where I wanted them on a black doll. So my camera decided to die right before I started the eyes, so I apologize I don't have that footage, but I just used some very sharp watercolor pencils and just sketched them out. So she was mostly done at this point. So off camera I added some acrylic paint to the sclera and did some eye shines. And I also added some high gloss varnish on her eyes and lips. And I also decided to add some gold flake glitter 
in her iris because I thought it looked really pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to what I did with her hair and body. It's onto her neck area and her arms. So I used epoxy sculpt for that. And I also decided to make these little bones and teeth that are going to go on her belt later. And now I'm painting her scalp a white color because her hair is going to be white. And here are the horns that I made for her, which I had to do off camera because my camera died again. I'm sorry you guys, I'm new at this. I also sculpted her a little pointy devil's tail. After the acrylic dried, I went ahead and blushed the horns with a warm ivory kind of color and just built up a few layers of that and blushed it with some darker grays just to give it a little more dimension. And then I blushed her body and I just built up colors the same way that I did her face. So that took about three or four coats as well.
And again, I lost a lot of the footage of the hair, but basically I just made some hair wefts with Mod Podge and glued them to some saran wrap and took them off and cut them into smaller pieces and just started gluing the hair directly to her head. I didn't really feel the need to make a wig because I don't want her hair to be removed anyway. And here I wanted to show you guys how I made her corset. What I did was I built up paper mache around her torso, first with aluminum foil, then toilet paper and Mod Podge, paper mache over that. And while it was still wet, I took a piece of faux leather and wrapped it around her body and clamped it shut with these clamps that I use for photography. But you can use binder clips or anything like that. And now I'm going to sew the bones and teeth onto her belt. It was really easy. I made this whole project with glue and I didn't have to sew very much at all, so yay! And here's the completed outfit some repurposed Monster High boots that I painted and added faux fur. And here's her corset, which I love the way it turned out. Really tribal and badass. And here's the belt. Now let's go ahead and get her dressed and ready for the final reveal. I decided to name her Helena the Houndoom. I am obsessed with the way she came out, and I really can't wait to start on my next doll. If you guys want to see more, please feel free to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!